if it's turning into yellow, because that's turning into yellow, that's a positive result. So that means it's get a virus. If it's a stew like pink. Professor Tui Jiangfeng wants to release a test anyone can use at home to find out if they've been infected with COVID-19. He's been working on this since the outbreak in Wuhan in China. It's a test of the individual whether they get infected and they're still infectious. So if I'm tested positive, that means I got the virus, I can spread the virus, I should go to isolation. And this is how the test works. You take a swab sample, add some solution, shake it, add some more solution, put it in a test kit, another drop, and the solution becomes pink. It's then heated up to 65 degrees, either using a hot block like this or hot water. Leave it for 30 minutes and it's time for the results. The beauty of this test is in its simplicity. If the colour changes from pink to yellow, it's positive. If it stays pink though, it's negative. And the team here are hoping that eventually they can make this test so simple that we do it ourselves and at home. For now, Public Health England is testing healthcare workers at drive through centres by taking a swab test. The samples are sent to a lab, and with so many tests to process, it can take up to two days to get a result. These scientists aim to release a quick test that can be carried out at clinics, pharmacies, even airports, and at home. Oxford University has made this project a joint collaboration with China. The university has a branch at Suzhou Industrial Park in southeast China, and half the team is working there. It means we're able to react very quickly and also key for us has been when the lockdown in China was happening we could work here and now that everything's switched around we've got the ability there. We're less affected by um, impacts in transport and we're able to make the best use of patient samples, hospitals and manufacturers worldwide. And the interest in this test is global. We like to uh, issue like a royalty-free license and uh, to manufacturers all over the world. It's non-exclusive. We had uh, interest expressed from 14 countries so far. In clinical trials in China, the test had a 100% rate of accuracy. It now has to replicate that in the UK. If it does, people here are one step closer to community-wide testing and ultimately getting back to enjoying life outside. Nicole Johnston, CGTN, Oxford.